Hi, it's Franz from M Mastery. These last couple of days I shared videos on the interpretation of the partial thromboplastin time and the prothrombin time. I hope you enjoyed them. In these videos, there was some talk about the so-called mixing studies. If you don't know what those are, or if you don't know how to interpret them, then this video will solve the mystery for you. These videos were taken from an upcoming hematology and coagulation essentials course. If you never want to struggle with the interpretation of coagulation and hematology labs again, then this upcoming course will be right on. If either the PT or PTT are abnormal and prolonged, then the logical question is, is the abnormal test result due to a clotting factor deficiency or due to an inhibitor? The next test to order to answer this question is a mixing study. The basic principle is we will measure PT and PTT before mixing and twice afterwards. The first one will be immediately after mixing and the second one will be anytime 30 minutes to 2 hours after mixing. The abnormal PT or PTT will correct, that is normalizes, or fail to correct, that is does not normalize. I would like to quickly remind you of factors involved in the two different pathways for coagulation. PT measures the integrity of the extrinsic and the common pathway, whereas PTT measures the integrity of the intrinsic and the common pathway. If the PT is prolonged, we are looking at pathology involving the extrinsic and the common pathway. So when the PT is prolonged, we are going to perform a PT mixing study, and this will be done twice, once immediately and the second time 30 minutes to 2 hours after mixing. If the PT normalizes, we are dealing with a factor deficiency and the involved factors may be factors 1, 2, 5, 7, and 10. If the PT does not normalize, then most likely we are dealing with an inhibitor and the most common inhibitor involving the pathway for PT is factor 5 inhibitor. Now moving on to the PTT mixing study. This is done when the PTT is prolonged and just like the PT mixing study, it is done twice, once immediately and the second time 30 minutes to 2 hours after mixing. If the PTT normalizes with mixing, then we are dealing with a factor deficiency and the factors involved may be factors 8, 9, 11 and 12. If the PTT initially shortens and then prolongs, then we are most likely dealing with a factor 8 inhibitor. If the PTT does not normalize, we may be dealing with a factor 9 inhibitor or more commonly a lupus anticoagulant.